It's time now for your TCI Top Stories World and Regional Report, the evening edition for Monday, March 18th, 2024. I'm DeAndre Hamilton, joined by Rashid Esson. Magnetic Media has the news that matters most. You hear that? That's unlimited WhatsApp and Facebook with Flow's new unlimited prepaid plans. Flow is giving you exclusive data to post, like, and share all you want on Facebook and talk. Message or video call all your faves on WhatsApp. Have endless fun when you activate Flow's hot new 30 day plan for just $40 a month and unlock unlimited social media messaging, unlimited Facebook. Unlimited WhatsApp, unlimited possibilities. Dial star 129 pound to activate today. Conditions apply. Facing anger, consternation, and concern from residents over the amount of robberies committed in the past week and a half, the Royal Turks and Caicos Islands Police Force is instituting a new unit. The acting commissioner confirmed a dedicated robbery policing team is being set up to provide focused investigative and policing capability on this front. Words from Delini Daniel Selvaratnam, the TCI's governor, in a March 14th post. It came just hours before a business place was hit by criminals and a tourist robbed. The governor did not provide a timeline for implementation. Since the start of February, there have been several high-profile robberies, including a planned attack on a businessman doing payroll, a daylight robbery of a female casino worker by three armed men, and reported attacks on college professors where one was beat up and his car taken. Following elections scorned by the United States as rigged, Vladimir Putin has returned as Russia's leader, virtually uncontested. The victory is described as a landslide. State media TASS reports that Putin got 85.13% of the votes after all ballots were counted on Sunday night. The new People Party candidate Vladislav Davinkov is listed as the runner-up with a distant 6.65%. It means Putin will rule Russia for six more years. There were protests at several polling stations after that announcement. Still ahead, Rashid Esson with Caribbean Top Stories. There is a butcher in store at the new Sunny Foods at the Blue Hills Roundabout. Visit the store for the same sunny service, same sunny selection, same sunny savings. Sunny Foods in Five Keys. Sunny Foods in Grand Turk, two locations. Sunny Foods now in Blue Hills. Sunny says no one beats his prices. No one. It's now time for your regional top stories. I am Rashid Essen. The situation in Haiti is worsening at an alarmingly fast rate. The suffering of Haitians, especially women and children, now increased. On Saturday, March 16, reports say a UNICEF container, one of 17 with maternal, neonatal, and child survival essentials, was robbed in the capital of Port-au-Prince, depriving vulnerable women and children of vital health supplies. Hospitals across Haiti are forced to close, leaving only four out of ten hospitals functional and two surgical operating facilities. Also, the main airport in Port-au-Prince reports say it remains closed after a recent gang attack. Now, despite the recent developments by CARICOM officials, towards political stability there is pushback from gangs as leader Jimmy Charizier is reported saying they will not recognize decisions made by CARICOM. Prime Minister of the Bahamas, Philip Davis, is now in Botswana from March 18 to the 22, invited by Botswana's President Mokwitsi Masisi, and both nations, according to the Bahamas Office of the Prime Minister, are expected to sign agreements for trade, education, tourism, investment, banking, and climate change in efforts to strengthen diplomatic ties. The Bahamian officials accompanying Davis are the Minister of Foreign Affairs, Minister of Education and Technical and Vocational Training, Minister of Economic Affairs, Minister of Youth, Sports and Culture, and Parliamentary Secretary of Tourism, Investment and Aviation. Magnetic Media is your news leader. At Fortis TCI, we have the tools to help you track your energy usage because we know it's easier to manage what you can monitor. Our free customer portal at www.myftciaonline.com is packed with features, and signing up is quick and easy through the website. You can view weather temperature trends alongside your daily consumption, receive email alerts when your energy usage reaches a set level, and note important events and activities that impact your energy usage online. You can also compare your energy usage to a previous year or month and download your usage data for further analysis. Remember, your energy usage data is ready when you are. 
18-year-old Grand Turk native Caden Lightburn will go to trial despite efforts by his attorney, Will and Belliard, to have his case dropped. Lightburn was committed to stand trial on a firearms offense and during sufficiency hearings before Chief Justice Mabel Ajimang on Friday, March 15th, it was determined that the young man will have to stand trial for a shooting incident in Grand Turk from January 15th. It's on to trial also for alleged Bible Street robber Josiah Parfait. The 21-year-old is facing serious charges, attempted robbery, firearm, and ammunition possession from a November 2023 incident. His trial was not challenged by his attorney, Sheena Mayer. Congratulations are in order for a number of schools which showed their scientific prowess in the recent Fortis TCI suite of science events in celebration of Education Week in the Turks and Caicos. H.J. Robinson was the high school winner and International School of the TCI won in the primary category for the science project competitions. The International School of the TCI also triumphed in the National Primary School Science Quiz. Finally, Clement Howell High School and Maranatha Academy won the Fortis TCI National Science Poster Competition, Creative Art, and Graphic Art category, respectively. Congratulations to all of the winners. That does it for the evening edition. Thank you so much for joining us. Make it a great night.